校考问题学校，我是蔡可仁，您的旧年级的学生代表，欢迎翻校参加二零二二年第一次全地大会。随着新年的过去，让我们都将努力成为更好的自己，体现学习的价值观。此外，随着下一学年的 High Flex 到来，我们的生活也即将翻开新的篇章。你们可能想知道我为什么用中文说话，这不是因为你们都不注意听我说，这是因为快过年了，即将到来的一年是虎年。象征着力量和勇敢。当我们迈向二零二二年时，让我们所有人都体现这些价值观。当我们进入学年的最后阶段时，让我们像老虎一样坚强地开始新的一年。学校将有许多新的学生活动，所以请收听大会，因为您可能会发现一些引起您兴趣的事情，希望您能支持他。现在，让我们进入祈祷的状态，我们将祈祷开始本次大会。Good afternoon, stallions. Let's pause for a moment to get in touch with ourselves and God in today's Ignatian examine. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Sit comfortably in your chair and let God look at you. Breathe in God's love and breathe out into God how you are right now. Ask for God's light as you look over the day. What made you glad? Breathe it in. What made you sad? Let yourself feel it. 
don't be afraid. Breathe in God's love. What kind of help do you need from God? Let God know. Let's end by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus, light of the world, let our light shine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bayang magiliw, peras ng silanganan, alab ng puso, sa dibdib mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, duyan ka ng magiting, sa manlulupi, di ka pa sisihir, sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong bukaw. May tilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal, ang kislap ng watawat mo'y tagumpay na nagniningning. Ang bituin at araw niya kailan pagbay di magdidilim Lupa ng araw ng walhati pagsinta Buhay ay langit sa piling mo Aming ligaya na pag may mga api Ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo Panatang makabayan, iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinalangan, tahanan ng aking lahi, kinukupkup ako at tinutulungan, maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking magulang, susundin ko ang tuntunin ng paaralan, tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan. Nang lilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal, ng buong katapatan. Ealay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsikap sa bansang Pilipinas.
city on stay alone my thoughts are speaking no 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 In my mind, no one else can see. Maybe it's faith that we lose control. In circles around we go. We become who we ought to know. We just gotta let it go. We just gotta let it go. It's that time of the year! It's that time of the year! Hey there, Savior! <laughs> I'm Raj Chen with the Chinese Culture Club, and while it may be a little bit too early, I'd like to say, Xinian Kuala, Kong Si Fa Tsai, it's Chinese New Year! Well, technically it's a month from now on Tuesday, February 1, but I am genuinely excited for the new year. We are one of the lucky few people in the world who gets to celebrate two new years in a row. And what that potentially means for us is just more angpaos, like bro, it's two months apart? Damn, more money! All kidding aside, you know, it's just really cool that our Chinese Filipino heritage allows us to celebrate two New Year's in a row. Like, when that sinks in, it's just really, really cool. A new year means a new zodiac and an element accompanying that zodiac. So, on my left, which is your right, I have the list of elements. And on my right, which is your left, I have the list of Chinese zodiacs. Can you guess the combination we have for this year? If you guess the water tiger, then you are absolutely correct. Water tigers are said to be calm like water, yet fierce and ambitious like the tiger they are. They are exceptional leaders who do not fear any obstacles, yet take great care of their family. So as we're nearing the final stretch of the school year, let us not forget to be hungry yet fierce. Calm and collected like the water tiger. While the new year is definitely celebrated at home by catching up with your family, uh, getting ang baos, uh, making dumplings, cleaning the house, watching the fireworks. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars? I can really use a wish right now. And the dragon dance. Oh, that's the yellow! Oh, that's the yellow! That's the yellow! It's so hot! The Chinese teachers have also prepared something very special for everyone in the student body. Let's watch this.
Finally, for the entire student body, we will be having an enlightening talk about the Chinese Filipino identity by Miss Carmela Ang Si, entitled Wash Your Chinoy on February 4, 2022, Friday. So, guys, please mark your calendars on February 4 for the inspirational talk. Before the date, a Padlet walling will be given to your class advisors where students can post questions before and during the talk. So yes. Proud to be an engaged Chinon. This year is sure to be exciting and I hope everyone can enjoy it. Once again, I am Raj Chen. Washi Chen Yochu. Hu Nian Da Qi Da Li. Hu Qi Chong Tian. Happy Chinese New Year! NANI?! Heard of SK? SK? What's SK? Is that the Sangunian Kabataan thing or something like that? Uh, I think so. I, parang I've heard a lot of Facebook posts about it or I've seen a lot of Facebook posts about it. Guys, 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 Sangunian Kabataan or SK in short is an opportunity for students in grade 9 to 12 who are above the age of 15 to exercise their right to vote. Kinda like voting in the SC, but instead of voting for the students in our school, we vote for the young people in our community. Besides this, it also provides an opportunity for young people like us to directly participate in local governance. This is also another chance for us to become a generation of engaged Saviorians. The Lingkod Social Action Committee will be hosting a talk about this on January 31st, Monday, during the self-management period. You can learn about SK then. See you there! Hey y'all, how's your super amazing Christmas break? In a word, super. I Over the Christmas break, I did my homeworks, I prepared for my exams, I cried in the shower. Oh right, and I also registered to be a delegate in this year's Exmon, which is held on February 12th to 13th. I joined the General Assembly, which is the biggest committee in the UN. And you know what that means? I can make a lot of friends. Hi, na ho, Gabe. More friends lang ba? Well, how about you and TJ have all the good motives, judging by his smile? What would senior say, kaya? Why are you bringing me up all of a sudden? You know me, the principal, alkads before lakads, di ba nga? And besides, I haven't even registered to Expo yet. But General Assembly and the International Labor Organization did catch my eye. Dude, TJ, trust me. You should apply for the International Labor Organization. Basically, as a delegate in the ILO, you'll be discussing standards and policies related to workers, both locally and internationally. You know what? That does sound pretty interesting, but it's not really my style. DJ, 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 listen to me. Join the General Assembly. You won't regret it. I think you're an absolute great fit. We get to cover very modern and very relevant topics today, like the ongoing climate change crisis and even the COVID-19 pandemic. And you know, TJ, if you want just a little bit more of a challenge, you should try out the World Economic Forum, where you'll represent an international company, Amazon or Tesla, and discuss issues related to the global economy. Have you seen historical crisis though? You're going to be someone from the French Revolution, from Napoleon to King Louis, who says it's not going to be a good time. And as they say, let them eat cake or whatever it is Antoinette said. Well, if you're going for something really unique, might as well join the Press Corps, which is this big agency full of uh, journalists from, who are representing other news agencies, like the CNN, uh, Sinhua News Agency, and even Rappler. You get to go around the conference, do interviews, and write articles about what, what's been going, going on. If you really believe that the pen is mightier than the sword, I think Press Corps is the right place for you. Aya, guys, aside from that, don't forget we also have the Security Council this year. 
Wait, what's the Security Council? Uh, okay, so let me explain. Basically, the Security Council involves high politics, and the range of topics is unique. They vary from regional crises to nuclear proliferation. Okay, all right. I think I'll go for GA with Gabe, but Gabe, please teach me because I don't know anything. DJ, 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 you won't regret it. Okay, all right. I'm gonna leave now so that I could go register. I'll see you guys there. Wait, guys, take a long, guys, take a long. I have the perfect pickup line that will guarantee you guys a Valentine. Y'all wanna hear it? No. No. Guys, come on, come on. Real quick, just this one. So for TJ Leeds. Right? Yeah? Yeah, okay. You know what? Fine, yeah. fine, fine. Are you the delegate of Korea? Why? Because no. I think you're my soulmate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, He's a fucking What's good everyone? I'm Mokinda Guzman, the Welcome City Committee Head. And I am Ethan Liao, Grade 8 Batch Representative. Welcome back to school and a Happy New Year everyone! What the year 2021 has been for all of us? From dealing with the lockdown earlier in the year, to society slowly opening up, up to the point where some of us were able to go outside of our own homes towards the end of the year. Although it has been a big year for us outside of school, it has also been a big year for us within school as well, with multiple events and activities happening online. As the saying goes, new year, new me. And we have some new and exciting activities in store for you in the coming months that we invite you to participate in. Together with your class officers, we were able to come up with Connecting to Audio. I'm sure we all look and sound differently from almost two years ago, but I hope this program will help us become familiar once again with one another. Connecting to Audio aims to help re-establish and develop connections among our batch. We have prepared games and activities to develop a deeper sense of community and camaraderie. Through the different Kumusta sessions, you will have fun and feel reconnected with one another. I'm really hoping that everyone can participate as I guarantee you, it will be a good start to 2022 for the batch. Next up is Welcome Sieti's Friendship Fridays. Friendship Fridays is a way for our grade 8 to 12 Ahias to interact with our grade 7 Shotis. In our usual Friendship Fridays, you are free to interact in however you see fit. Whether it's playing games, whether it's asking questions, or just a simple kwentuhan. The committee is planning another one in February. So for our grade 7 shotties, stay updated with your email and watch out for an email blast from the Welcome Sieti Committee. And for our grade 8 to 12 ahias, feel free to message if you want to volunteer or be a part of one of our Friendship Fridays. That's all we have for you today. We hope to see you join and participate in these events. Thank you, Luci at Lux, and a Happy New Year! Oh hey Gian, did you see the list of candidates Comelec posted on their Facebook page last Wednesday? Yeah Derek, weren't there 26 candidates running for this school year? That's like so much! That's even more than as far as I can remember in Savior history. I think these student leaders are gonna do really well. Yes Gian, very successful turnout indeed. 
In case you missed it, let me share with you the final list of candidates for the Student Council Executive Board School Year 2022-2023. Drumroll, please. For incoming Student Council President, we have Paolo Mamu of 11B. For incoming Senior High School Vice President, we have Lawrence Tortona of 11B. For incoming Junior High School Vice President, we have Kyle Chua Onsu of 9C, Jack Gordon of 9G, and Colin Rojas Chua of 9C. For incoming Vice President for Student Organizations, Mark Villegas of 10F, Joaquin De Castro of 10B, and Diego Liave of 11H. For incoming Student Council Administrative Officer, we have Sean Salvador of 10H, Marco Valenton of 10A, and Nathan Nang of 10D. For incoming Grade 12 Batch Representative, we have Sinjin Romaldas of 11F and Ramon Tanklimapo of 11I. For incoming Grade 11 Batch Representative, we have Johan Pao of 10H, Gabriel Salamida of 10D, and Jaime Gan of 10A. For incoming Grade and Batch Representative, we have Marcos Castro of 9C, Lucas Manuel of 9D, Miko Gocheco of 9A, and Ryan Lau of 9D. For incoming Grade 9 Batch Representative, we have Miguel Saavedra of 8D, Ethan Liao of 8C, and Sean Angeles of 8A. And last but not the least, for incoming Grade 8 Batch Representative, we have Gael Alimurong of 7A, Rohan Reyes of 7B, and Maxi Wang of 7F. Oh wait, Derek, there are so many candidates running for the elections. How will we get to know more about them and their plans should they get elected for office? Well, Comelex got everything covered for you. In order for you to envision the plans of your candidates, we will be holding live meeting the advances, or MDA for short, for you on the following dates. For the grade 9 batch, you will be having your incoming grade 10 batch MDA on February 4, Friday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Next, incoming grade 8 and 9, you will be having your respective batch MDAs on February 11, from 9 to 10 a.m. This will be followed by the batch MDAs of the incoming grade 11 and 12 during ECHO period. And last, the Student Council Executive Board Grand Meeting Nirvanse will be on February 14, 2022, from 1.55 to 3.30 p.m. You know, Derek, I think this MDA is going to be amazing because I heard there's going to be a new segment. The elections will be a blast. We'll watch out for that, surely, Gian. So I guess that's it for announcement today. Stay tuned for further updates and announcement on our Comelex Facebook page. Thank you and continue to let your light shine. Once again, I am Derek Bohain. And I'm Gian Ngo of Comelex, signing off. What's taking my partner so long? Mm. Wow, Max. Uh, ang aga mo, ah. Yeah, sorry, Matthew. I'm still on my Christmas break schedule. You know, I've been grinding a lot of Valorant and getting those one taps. But, well, maybe you should start grinding in the gym, too, you know, after all the food we ate during the different holidays, salas salas and all. Anyway, uh, it's good to be back, don't you think? Yeah, unlike us, a lot of Siberians actually chose to grind during the break and represent their school and make us proud. That's right, Max. And just like them, I think it's time for us to get... IN THE ZONE! Now, first off, we would like to congratulate our very own students from Excess Mun who participated in the Harvard Student Association Mun Conference. Let us congratulate the following students. Marco Mendoza for Best Delegate, Gian Ngo for Most Improved Delegate, Farrell Tiu for Honorable Mention, Mari Makasayat for Best Delegate, Sean Ramirez, and Tyler Tan. We would like to give recognition to Marco Mendoza and Mari Makasayat for receiving the Best Delegate Award, Gian Ngo for Most Improved Delegate, and Farrell Tiu with an Honorable Mention in the event. Wow! That's so much rewards for our participants in the event. It makes me feel so great knowing that we have such a great roster of students in our XS and UN. Next up, let's look at Xavier School's Young Mathematicians. 
Last December 5, Siberians participated in the 2021 Big Bay Bay, or BBB, an annual international Olympiad made possible by Hong Kong's OCEC. And of course, we have the following students who bag these awards. Sean Pio Angeles, 8A, first prize award. Juan Ramirez, 9A, second prize award. And Luis Hugo Ramirez, 11A, third prize award. Wait, so these guys got first, second, and third? That's insane! Well, yeah, that's right, Max. We're that, we're that big brain. But don't worry, as we have even more awardees coming up. Of course, aside from math, we also had students who participated in the 2021 Hong Kong International Science Olympiad Heat Round last November 28. This competition consists of physics, biology, chemistry, and the integrated sciences. Let's congratulate Enzo Sebastian Choa of 8B who bagged the bronze award. Did you know that this competition, besides stimulating the minds of young students, also promotes the development of primary and secondary education, an exchange of educational cultures throughout countries. Hmm, yeah, I actually didn't know that, Max, but that, that, that's really solid, huh? Like, I look forward to the next Olympiads that will hopefully do the same. So, I think that just wraps up today's program. What do you think, Matthew? Yeah, that should be right about it. And I would just like to give out the friendly reminder that even though we just had a Christmas break, we need to adjust our mindset and put our academics first. Am I right, Max? That's right. Additionally, with the rising cases of COVID-19, we should keep in mind to stay safe and be careful by following the rules and regulation of quarantine protocols. Yeah, that's right. You know, you're spitting facts. You know, as unfortunate and as boring staying in lockdown seems, you know, we should always remember to prioritize our safety. With that out of the way, I'm Maxi Juan. And I'm Rocket. No, I'm just kidding. I'm Matthew signing off and reminding you all to always stay in the zone. And welcome back, everyone, to the sixth episode of SC Minute! <laughs> Happy New Year! Hope you all had a great break, got some rest, spent time with your family, and most importantly, stayed safe. I really hope your breaks didn't look like this. Okay, but actually, it's a new year, a fresh start for us all. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? This is CNN Breaking News. Philippine health authorities are bracing for a higher number of COVID-19 infections because of the Omicron variant. COVID-19 cases in the Philippines are spiking despite having a wide vaccination coverage. This is fine. I'm sure by now we've all heard about the new COVID variant. <laughs> no, it's not called the variant. It's called the Omicron variant. Right now, the Omicron variant is a really, really serious issue. The Philippines has over 37,000 new COVID cases, which has caused the suspension of classes and events nationwide. Even though Omicron is less severe than the Delta variant, it is still highly transmissible, which makes getting infected much easier. Currently, the COVID tests show a 47.3% positivity rate, which means that one in two people might have COVID. It's really scary right now, so here are some tips against the Omicron variant. The Omicron variant affects our upper respiratory system, so if you have sepon, fever, headaches, those are key symptoms. Cloth masks are not gonna cut it with Omicron. They're super transmissible, so wear KN94 or K95 masks. And try to double mask when you can. Metro Manila and multiple other provinces have been placed under Alert Level 3, which includes these following restrictions. Outdoor dining venues may only accept up to half its capacity, down from the previous 70%. Indoor dining venues are also limited to 30 instead of 50%, and only fully vaccinated persons are allowed to dine in. 
Barbershops, gyms, and cinemas are also only allowed to utilize 30% of their indoor capacity. Gatherings of people who don't belong to the same household are also prohibited. Guys, so please, please, please stay safe. I don't want to see anyone getting sick because of Omicron, not following quarantine guidelines, and especially, I don't want the trends from last year to come back. Do y'all remember what happened last time we were under alert level 3? <sighs> With the worsening COVID situation right now and a lot of thoughts on our mind, a lot of us might start sounding like this. Have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you 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 can stop it? Get some help. And that's why the student council is proud to launch SC Cares. SC Cares is a short and pretty simple survey where you can voice out your concerns, feedback, and suggestions about the school. Wow! SC Cares will be released next week, so stay tuned to your emails. Rest assured the student council will be working really hard to attend to all of your concerns. Kinda like this. New Year, New Me. It's a new year, guys. Did you all make your New Year's resolutions? I feel like I'm gonna achieve all of mine. <laughs> um, okay, maybe not, but but this year I want to work out more, take care of my mental health, and read more books. Oh, and I want to work on my Chinese, because I literally sound like... Even if it seems like some silly tradition, let's still make New Year's resolutions. Start with small, manageable habits so we can slowly and consistently work towards a resolution. I just really hope it doesn't turn out like this again. Hello 2022. This year, I will wake up at 5 a.m. Go to the gym 10 times a week. Five minutes later. You know what to do better this year? I feel like we have to step up our game. I just feel like we have to level, level up. up. <laughs> it's been a while, but trust me, this will be the best one yet. Let me introduce you all to the Siberian's best friend, Schoology. Nani? Create a free account today at Canva.com. I got you guys. Everybody here is going to be getting their own Canva Pro account for free. For free. All you'll have to do is go to your canva.com account, go to the pricing section, and press education. Canva Pro is free for all K-12 students and teachers. So press sign up now. And congrats guys, you'll have access to a library full of pro features. In fact, check out what I made. I made this presentation on why pineapple pizza is good. Cause it is! I mean, just accept the fact. I have a pizza. I have pineapple. Alright, and that's it for our sixth episode of the FC Minute. I hope you all enjoyed watching this. I hope you enjoy your Canva Pro accounts too. Remember, stay foolish, stay hungry. Alright, I'll see you all next month. Bye bye. <laughs>
one of the things we hope to be able to implement is the hybrid pilot classes in selected sections in each year level. And we will share with you more information about this once things have settled down. In the meantime, we still have several worthwhile activities online. And while I know that things can get quite stressful because of many uncertainties, let's continue to give it our very best this last stretch of the school year. We still have two months left and there are still many things we can meaningfully accomplish. I remember one of the lines of Tony Stark in the, the Iron Man in the Avengers game uh, Endgame movie when he said that it is not about how much we lost. It is about how much we have left. We got to finish this. And so, dear students, I hope that we continue to stay strong and that we finish strong. I know and I believe that we can do this. Take care and good morning. Savior School, our pride and glory, to you we pledge our loyalty. Day after day, year after year, you've taught us to hold these things most dear. Strength and purity of soul, mind, and body, self-sacrifice, the spirit of charity. Gratefully we sing your name to the sky as we hold your torch on high. Look, she had, look, she had looks. Keep the lights in your hearts always. Look, she had, look, she had looks. Make it grow brighter with each day. Walk without fear along a dark and stony road. Give a helping hand to light in someone's load. Make your light brightly shine till the journey's end. Look, she up, she up, look, she up, look.